Hey everybody, it's me. Welcome back. I'm playing Tetris 99. Last episode, dude, I don't know. What do you want me to say? Yeah, are we, we're not at that point where, you know, I need to recalibrate, okay? In every game of Tetris 99, there's 98 other people. Wyatt's, Sally's, Opportunists. Jonathan's. Who's Jonathan? He's just an everyday normal dude like the rest of us. Trying to get his first or second Tetris 99 win. To have a video in which we play six games and don't get a win, that's not a catastrophe, okay? Catastrophe is a television show currently airing. Don't even talk to me about what's happening here. Currently airing on Amazon Prime. Two very, very different things. That being said, it's not to say there weren't mistakes on the last episode that I would, you know, given the choice, prefer to rectify. And I know you're, <laughs> from the start of this episode, you might be looking and going, and now it doesn't seem like you're likely to rectify it. Well, Kate and I were talking about it yesterday. And I'm, we're, we're of the same opinion, more or less, on this. What you do, in my personal opinion, with the first, I don't know, 50 positions in a Tetris 99 match, I really feel is almost inconsequential. Now, there's a difference. It doesn't mean you're never going to lose in the top 50. Sometimes you're just going to be attacked and, you know, life's going to be hard. But for the most part, if you're not, you know, targeted by a staggering amount of aggression, you're probably going to be A-OK -okay to still have a chance to win once you get outside of the top 50. I think we're just going to have to start sending here. We're a victim of circumstance. Two long pieces in a row. And see, I did something that I'm trying to work on uh, not doing as much in the future. I set up a situation where in order to fill a gap, we need to use a long piece. And, you know, you always you want to have one gap where you need to use a long piece. And that's where I feel like people have been very derelict in their explanation. I see them talking to other people about Tetris because they were talking to me about Tetris. And they were going, see, the number one problem is you're, you're making gaps where you need a long piece to fill it. And then you go, okay. Yo, excuse me, sir. You, you, you throw the baby out with the bathwater. Is actually awesome to have a gap. This sucks, dude. We're dead. So like I said, oh, no, 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 just place one piece. Let me out. No, we're dead. Um, and I know this is a bad time to give advice. You know, we're arguing from a position of weakness. But we did get, you know, maybe triple Tetris there. It happens. Um, let me caffeinate. What I was going to say is, you know, it, many people, they've said it to me and they said it to Dan. Your biggest problem is you're making gaps that you need a long piece to fill. you got to be more specific with your instructions if you want to be the Morpheus to our Neos, okay? You want to have a gap. Well, unless you're T-spinning like crazy, but that's kind of like, you know, you're talking about how to fly an SR-71 Blackbird instead of a Cessna. Uh, if, if you want to do well and play fast and send a lot of garbage, get KOs and have a chance to win... You want to leave exactly one, oh, exactly one gap where you need a long piece to handle it. And we see that's a mistake right there, obviously. But um, what you don't want to do is leave two gaps. Two gaps, bad. One gap, actually not just good, ideal. Because you want, you, you need a gap to be able to send your your Tetrises to. You know what I mean? And again, we've we've done it again. I could be, and this is a, we, we actually created two there. I could be a lot better, and we've created another one, about noticing in the moment when it's starting to go wrong. This isn't even a particularly impressive build. That one is a, uh, you know what, I'm actually going to start to work the tower down a little bit, just because I, I don't like it. And if you don't like it, if you're not feeling comfortable with it, you're going to slow down your own level of play. You slow down your own level of play and all of it. Oh, yeah. Well, you, then things like that start to happen. And, uh, you know, it's not all over at that point. I mean, it's still the early game. 
Again, in spite of what happened in the last episode, I firmly believe you can make some real oopsies in the early game. Still come out smelling like a rose. I mean, we've had some truly... Oh, dude, I'm on randoms, too. Talk about an oopsie. Um, we've had some truly staggering, like, awful performances that have then become wins just by virtue of, like, being alive so I could capitalize on other people's mistakes. It's really just, you know... It's, like, it's not really the luck of the draw. I don't want to say Tetris is the luck of the draw because, you know, there's people in Tetris that have a... 99% win rate. In Tetris 99 specifically, I should say. And anytime, you know, you're talking about a 99% win rate. I mean, if you're the person who gets that win on them, you got to assume like, hey, right place, right time, right? <laughs> Or, I don't know, maybe you're like, uh, it turns out I'm the best player in the world. I don't know. I, I would like to think that I would be like, you know what? Any given Sunday just worked out in my favor. It's got to be a lot of pressure. And I'm saying this honestly, not, not as a caricature. Um, it has to be a lot of pressure to have a, a win rate that high in a game like this. Because, like, I, my perspective already is, like, I'm not very good at Tetris. I'm starting to get to a level of increased competency for sure. I mean, we started the series uh, hoping to get a single win, and now we're going into every single episode truly, in my heart of hearts, believing there's a chance of victory. And even then, there's a little pressure. Like, whenever you make a mistake at Mach 500, Somebody comes out of the woodwork and goes, you know, why did you drop the piece in the wrong spot? And you're like, well, because it was going fast. And they go, well, if you want to win, you shouldn't do that. And you're like, oh, no kidding. Who would have thought? I never, it never dawned on me that the dominant strategy for a game like this could be, uh, hey, don't make mistakes. Turns out that uh, it applies. Anyway, it's not bitterness. It's just that it comes with the territory. And that's from the perspective of somebody who's not even really operating at a high level of Tetris acumen. Two attackers. One attacker, that's what I thought. And we've done it again. Um, but it's okay. I think we're gonna start sending. It's also pretty ugly over there, but... You know, imagine being... And I'm not, you know, they don't need sympathy. They're, they're the best players in the world. But imagine being one of the best Tetris 99 players in the world. And you lose two games in a row on stream. All of a sudden, people are like, I ain't never seen this before. You start... I, I understand the, the nature of the backseat. You start to feel the doubt creep in. People watching are all of a sudden like, Should I be giving Wayne Gretzky tips on how to play hockey? And the more you, the more you play the more the answer to that question starts to become yes for some people. Yo, so uh, extreme capitulation. <sighs> That's me. We, uh, we've been insanely lucky. The fact that that resulted in a kill I always just have to apologize, you know, to whoever got killed there. That's just like... It didn't have to be like that. Wasn't my intention to wipe you out. Gotta send them. Sorry, I'm just uh, getting distracted as we get close to radio silence here just because... I mean, by nature of the game itself, things start to become a little hotter, you know? And we're kind of, <laughs> kind of experiencing that right now. Radio silence, by the way.
Don't do it. Don't do it. That was I was fighting for my life there, but just some terrible placements en route. En route to success. Full send. <laughs> there is the new law. It used to be Wyatt's law. You know, the the law that uh, the skill required to do to get a win in Tetris 99 uh, doubles every two weeks. Now we got Ryan's law. Ryan's law is very simple. In every game of Tetris 99, there's going to be a Ryan. There's corollaries. In every three games of Tetris 99, there's going to be a number one aunt, uh, mom, grandpa, grandma, etc., etc. You can you can fill in the rest of the magna farta for yourself. All I'm saying is. It's, and it's weird, you know, because I watch sports, and, you know, when I watch hockey, it's not like I'm a better hockey player than Nikolai Goldobin. But I've seen better hockey players than Nikolai Goldobin, I guess. So my brain goes, hey, Nikolai, what are you doing? Haven't you seen any clips of Wayne Gretzky? You can't be doing that. You're letting them take the puck off of you. You gotta take the puck off of him. And, uh, you know... It's so easy. Meanwhile, he's like, you know, hitting the gym six hours a day. I don't know who's it. Whoever was attacking me there, he got the heck out of the way real quick once it started to hit the fan. Not going to save you. Not gonna save you. You just never. A, there's a feeling out period. Are we dealing with a Wyatt right now? Are we dealing with a a Joseph, or is this a number one grandpa situation? I don't know, dude. I I kind of fear the number one grandpas. The elderly have a toughness that, I mean, you and I can only sniff at. I'm not even joking. I mean, I'm being a little facetious, but there's there's no joke. Where's the joke, you know? You think I would give you a joke without a punchline? Yeah. Yeah, but you think I would give you, like, several jokes? Yeah. Okay, but do you think that I would have the disrespect for you and your time? To just spin this bit out for no reason. To be a length that's way longer than it has any right to be. And ask you a series of rhetorical questions that I was very confident you would give me the opposite answer that it seemed like I was looking for. You really think that would be the case? Oh, what is it? How do I... What? Is, how do I respond? That's right. 30th dimensional chess. Sorry. Oh, did I just blow your mind? <sighs> it's not where you typically would want to stick a long piece, and, uh... Pun absolutely intended. That was a, actually a tactical garbage hole covering. I wouldn't expect you to understand yet. But soon... There you go. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I know about this one. And, uh, like, you were free, dude. After being free... Why handle it like that? Like, you were... you were set. You know what? I, I, I can only say thank you. I say thank you to my own brain there. Because I think what you just witnessed was a situation where my brain <clears throat> knew what was best for me. That was not the piece I thought it was going to be. My brain said, hey, you're getting a little lackadaisical. You're making mistakes that are unbecoming of a, a Tetris uh, professional. Even if that's not where you want to be, wouldn't you like to play at that level? I suppose. Fair enough. So it put me in one of those situations where I was like, I was under the gun. Being under the gun 
has historically been a, is like a force multiplier for my own ability to play, embarrassingly enough. I'm unafraid. Woo! No longer unafraid. Actually pretty spooked, honestly. Almost spun my way out of a chance of redemption there. Guy, uh, it, it hurts the most when it's so deserved. I dropped like 10 pieces in terrible positions. Like, most of them were by accident. I don't know whether that makes it better or worse. You know, I think when you place a piece badly deliberately, at least you're, you're committing to a strategy. You're going, hey, this might not work, but if I, you know, put this down and then ta-ta-ta-ta-ta, you know, rapid fire, hit the turbo button on the fast drop, I might be able to spin my way out of oblivion. When you just make a mistake, like you you double tap the up key or something like that, oh, that's, uh, it hurts. And we haven't even really been close in this episode so far. That's okay. It's a great thing, and I'm uh, just gonna let that one go. Um, and it's gone. Um, the great thing about Tetris, about Tetris 99 specifically, is that you know you're only at any given point, like a minute away from being in another game. It's not like if you make a mistake, you're you're sunk for an hour, you know? It's the great thing about the short queue time. Little, <laughs> little scary, but that's okay. Okay, we absolutely have to send. Reasonably good build, though. If there's a better place to... Oh, there was a much better place to put that piece. What I was gonna say is, <laughs> I wanna know where it is. And then a minute later, I was like, okay, thank you. Now I've learned something, and I appreciate it. So this is, uh... The world's most, like, unrewarded and simultaneously important T-spin right there. T-spin to close a gap, and all of a sudden, operating out of a much stronger position than we're used to, or than we used to be in, I should say. Go ahead. That's what I'm looking for. Sometimes you think I gotta stop the garbage. You don't realize that when you stop the garbage, you're also, oh, that's attackers for sure. You know, the, the garbage itself is not your enemy, necessarily. Um, the enemy is getting to the top. Garbage can be a useful tool on the way to the top. And remember, as Akduk said, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Why not have some help en route? Yeah. Two KOs. And no fear. Love it. Love it. We do have a long piece coming up. Yeah, we definitely could have handled this a little bit better from the perspective of making sure our garbage hole was clear. A sentence that will never stop being funny to me. And there we go. I had a feeling we were looking at some goodness there. You know, like a single blue piece. I know you're like, why are you building in the same spot over and over? So I'm waiting on a single blue piece to start to get the tower to work a little bit better. Finally, we get it. 
you know? If only there were 20 or 30 signs that our tower construction was not going well. We could have prevented this. As much as it may seem, and, and it should, that I'm making some highly suboptimal moves here. Sometimes you gotta look two moves ahead. And, uh, have I been doing that? Great question. <laughs> Instead, what I'm gonna do is very quickly uh, plug the garbage hole. Possibly put us in a situation where for the next, you know, 10 or 15 seconds we're extremely concerned about our own chance for survival. Then you go on attackers and you send, you send it back. And then you, if possible, just continue to send it back. Without really being concerned too much for your own ability to pull out a disaster here. There you go. Definitely not safe yet. This is kind of my, like, dream scenario now, though. That dude has so many badges. He's dead! <laughs> that sucks, though. Because somebody killed him, and that somebody was not me. Okay, this could be the decision that ends our run. Um, just being a little... I don't even want to say... I think it's unfair to say uh, too reckless. By the way, I had a doubled piece drop there. It was such a, uh, a Mad Cats. I didn't even notice the double drop. That's a new one for me. And it, again corresponded Sorry, I got to think for a second. Corresponded with a situation in which I got a bunch of stuff dropped on me, which is just this it's not to say like dude, it was the worst possible timing. It's just like I think that's the trigger for whatever kind of disaster is happening there. Is a lot of controller rumbling. Radio silence, by the way. A deserved loss, but a lot of heat on us at the end, too. Very, some really, really bad plays there. Dankster. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling, uh, mom, mom, yo. Amazing. Um, there's some really bad plays at the end there. I feel like I've been getting the pretty good KO uh, algorithm going in the early game. When we get to the late game, uh, I mean, if I could diagnose my own problem, and I'm sure the chat has their own opinions, I'm hoping that they line up on this one. In the late game, I take offense to it being called panic. I'm going to call it compromise, because it's not like I'm going, Oh God, what do I do? Um... But the garbage gets delivered so much faster once it's primed that I think I'm maybe a little bit too willing uh, to say, you know what? Let's uh, suboptimally, you know, like we'll, we'll give ourselves three line clears now, even though it'll screw us a little bit, you know, in a minute. And I definitely, uh, you know, I think sometimes that's the right decision and, and part of the interesting part of Tetris is just figuring out, you know, when it's okay to do that and when it's not. So I'm not trying to create a situation here where I'm uh, sending individual lines. What I'm doing is trying to, uh, and I guess we're going to have to bail out of that temporarily, but um, I'm trying to create a situation in which I have a well where I can send down, you know, a prodigious Tetris and, and maybe ruin somebody's life. Radio silence, by the way. Never mind. Um, that's fair. 
I, I played too, too slow, and uh, I keep creating these little crags. I create like a little Adirondack Mountains formation. It's no good. You get a long piece and you go, where do I put this? And then you don't want to compromise because you just talked about the compromise meta and all of a sudden it's, uh, it's, a, it's a freaking disaster, dude. Here's the thing, you gotta overclock the brain. What do you, oh, how do you overclock the brain? World Capitals. What's the capital of Armenia? Yerevan. What's the capital of Azerbaijan? Baku. What's the capital of Romania? Bucharest. What's the capital of Kazakhstan? Astana. What's the capital of Uzbekistan? Tashkent. What's the capital of Belize? Uh, Sucre and La Paz. What's the capital of Bolivia? <sighs> See, that's... Yeah, uh, um, uh, Belmapan. Okay, so I think I'm ready. And I may have mispronounced those. Please just take solace in the fact if I mispronounced your country's capital, the average Canadian wouldn't even be able to tell you what continent it's in. That's not an insult to my countrymen's intelligence. It's a, it's a brag about my own trivial knowledge. And in the end of the day is essentially, if not literally, meaningless. Um, you know, I, I deserve to be on randoms there. I deserve to not have a chance at KOs as a result of a, a poor performance. So, uh, some, not some, not the best decision making I've ever made in my life there. And you know, that's a, I, a lesser individual without the ability to take responsibility for their own actions would probably say that's a mad cat situation. Not this time. That's a situation where I hit the button incorrectly. Not getting demoralized, just taking a sober stock of our own situation right here. We did pick up a KO. Anytime you pick up a KO in a situation where you shouldn't, you should probably look around the map a little bit and figure out who you need to thank. Inevitably, someone did us a service there. We, we basically stole their KO accidentally. Our attacker's in a rough spot, but... You know, I'm feeling in a generous mood. He might have been the person responsible for us getting an undeserved KO. Right, okay. Well, that's actually fine. Um, and don't do that. Sometimes you can actually get away with that, but we don't have the right, you know, piece layout for that to be... Uh, a functional and well-thought-out approach. We need that long piece immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Just play it cool. There's not, what, what can you do, you know? You can switch to KOs. Um, sorry, you can switch to attackers, I mean. There's a chance that that could help you out, but it's not going to keep you alive in the moment. So, we have not weathered the storm. I was just gonna say, have we weathered the storm? Almost screwed that one up. Okay, we're free. Next long piece. Dude, it's our, our attacker is also in a dangerous situation. That's like a sober moment of realization for me. And I, that was a tactical garbage hole plug. So we could do something like that. And then something like that. And then something like that. Um, but what I was going to say there is... Uh, the person who was giving us the, the most amount of trouble was also in trouble themselves. And you know... That, was a, that one was haunted for real. Um, isn't that oftentimes the situation in real life as well? Won't somebody think of the bullies? Okay. Where am I going? It's a bad time to bring up... a. Uh, an issue as potentially controversial as that. Blue piece? No. Here you go. And there you go. I would really prefer to have not had to do it to him. This one, you take the garbage. And I hate to do it, but it was the right decision. And now, hello, Badge Lord. It's got to be done. For us to live, it has to be done. This one maybe didn't have to be done, but I was nervous. This could be huge.
It, it hasn't been huge yet, just for the record. You're like, oh, he was right, it was huge. Nah, it, it hasn't happened yet. The hugeness is still waiting to be seen. Because the Badge Lord yet lives. In the top ten, the mighty top ten, the Badge Lord lives tonight. Oh, he's dead now. Stop the anecdote, you did the anecdote at the worst time again. And then you, someone's gotta go, ah -hoo, ah -hoo. So don't get cocky. And above all else, don't get mad, get glad. We're very lucky to be able to stay on KOs this long. That's like, I know we could have done something a little different. Radio silence, but here we are. What happened? <laughs> uh, just just a staggering series of wrong place pieces. That hurts. Dude, look at this guy. He's got like a, a 15 spot garbage hole. Well, I mean, this is a pretty disappointing couple episodes. I'm gonna go splash some water on my face, get the episode back. Shark Tang, or get the get my mojo flowing is what I mean to say. For now, thanks for watching, and uh, you know we got to, we got to say some cool stuff over the course of this video. And if that's not the point, then what is? For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. I'm so great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See you.